a lot of you have this question that what's the expected salary i can assume that after becoming a blockchain developer that this is the amount i will get so based on that i can able to prepare myself that is it worth to learn blockchain development or should i keep it side and learn other development because that's one is the very valid question you should have asked yourself before diving to any particular field so whatever you are working try to ask yourself that how much competition you're going to have what is the supply what is the demand and based on that you have to curve down your entire roadmap that this is what i'm going to learn this is not what i'm going to focus this is the entire roadmap which i'm going to follow these are the company i'm going to target so there are multiple things which you have to consider before you pick yeah, and make that one decision so that's what we're going to discuss in this particular video that how your salary get decide what are things come into the picture what do you have to do in your initial stage how you can able to double your salary if you are working already in a position there are tons of things which you have to keep in mind so let's talk about the skill first like if you are absolute beginner if you are an absolute beginner, I would highly encourage you that the very first thing you have to focus to gain experience because right now the market is very competitive at the moment. Right now you will find there are multiple AI agents and they are doing most of the beginner level work. So if you really want to secure your position in the company, then you have to be good in your work. That's the first thing. Because right now what I have noticed, I also take interview for companies. I also hire students or developer for different organizations. So when I take the interview and when I ask simple question related to the array, programming language, the vulnerability in the contract, how to fix those things, some of the students and developer fail to answer this. So you have to understand that right now it's very competitive. So whatever you are doing, whatever you are learning, you have to be very good in that then you have a chance to get into the company because company when they will hire you they will give you the work they're not going to train you what happened seven years eight years ago companies were going to the colleges they were hiring the students in bulk and they were training them for the three years three months four months they were providing all the training but right now the company and the industry is changed the company wants you in the project straight away they want you to have the skills so you can start working straight away Right now, the companies are not giving any training. So that's not happening. So if you're going to join the company, you're going to start working straight away. They will give you the instruction that this is your position. This is what the role you have assigned. These are the works you have to work and you have to work on the project straight away. That's the one thing you have to understand. First thing is competition is very high. So you have to be best. You have to be good with your skills. So once you have all of this, then you have to understand that if the company is going to hire you, that what package they are providing. Because if you don't have any experience, I would highly encourage you that first three to four month is very critical for you. There you need to get the experience that what exactly happened in the industry, how we work with the team, what are the roles we have assigned. So those things is very important for you at your initial stage. So if you are a beginner and you are getting experience, so I would highly encourage you that for the next four to six months, just give your dedicatedly 100% because the salary intake will go suddenly very high. If you gain the experience, if you build your reputation, then it will go way high. There is no limit to that, depending on the quality of product which you are providing. So for six months is very, very important for you to gain the experience. Once you understand every single thing, then it becomes very easy for you and very clear for you because you will also have a lot of connection around yourself. You can see the company that what kind of project they are developing, where the funding is coming from, what exactly you are working on, what is the requirement of the industry. You will all you will have all of this information and that information is very important for you. So based on this information, you can upskill yourself. Understand what is the requirement. Once you understand, then focus on that particular one. A lot of you make this mistake that at the very beginning, you go with a specification that I want to become a security researcher. I want to become a smart contract auditor. That's not the thing you have to take. You have to always go with the, where you will have the higher chance of getting that internship, that particular entry point, because that's the most important point And that's the most difficult part of the, for your career. If you crack that particular entry point, it becomes very easy for you. It's become very easy for you. Like I get tons of requirement for the developer. And company asks me for developer to work on their project, but I cannot recommend anyone randomly. I want to recommend a developer to the company. I will check every single thing that whether he has the skill or not, what is their past record, what are the project he work and what is the requirement of the company. So I'm going to do all of this research that I'm going to provide a developer to the company. And that's what you have to do and what you have to understand, because I don't want to ruin my reputation which I have in the industry. Uh, if I give a bad developer, if I not provide and do my work properly, the next time no one will give me the work. Right now you know that how competitive 
right now the industry is right now everybody is calling a uh, developer themselves they have this ai tool they can build the front end but you don't know what they have in the back end because if you really want to build a scalable application then you need experience there you need what exactly you are implementing so that's the thing you have to keep in mind when you are entering whether you are getting less or high your entry point is the most important thing because later you can easily negotiate and take your salary way up and that's what happened in the industry you will find that once they gain the experience after they join the company after that they switch the moment they switch they get the they get the very good high because they have the experience company is looking for someone who have the skills who knows the workout uh, so they can perform the all the thing i use the term workout because today i had a bicep workout so it's good so i hope you have understood salary comes on the negotiations so entry point is good negotiate your salary because if you have the skill and if you can't know how to present how to negotiate how to communicate if you don't know your worth you don't know your industry requirement then it's going to be tough for you so i don't want to throw any random number you can simply google and you can find a lot of testimony that this much money they get this much that much money they get i have seen people got way what they are mentioning and so negotiation is very important if you have the skill you can easily go to negotiate and take your salary way up way up very easily so try to present yourself that one is the most important thing build your charismatic look when you will sit in the interview be confident answer it with confidence although you have your skill but still you are getting this so you have to also work on your communication and presentation that how you are doing it so there is a whole lot of things that involve in getting a good package and tons of things are also involved into this i don't want to extend this video because this one is already long but i would highly encourage you that focus on your skills once you will have your core fundamentals clear it would be very easy for you to expand and go to a different direction and pick a particular segment and start working on it don't get distracted with this ai this tool that tool like when it will become when the ai will become phenomenal where they don't need anybody then we are not going to sit here and give you this lecture so right now we all are involved in the development and still we are working it we are getting our foods through this working with the company building their project providing developers working on the client side so we are doing this nobody is know the future future is unpredictable you cannot focus on future only okay it's good to have an idea that what is exactly happening where the trend is going and you have to upskill yourself nothing get absolute just modification upgradation come in every single pipeline of every single industry so that's the thing you have to keep in mind with that i mean this have a wonderful day bye